Hi guys, my name is Arne, I'm a designer developer from Belgium and today I'm going to show you how you can install or create your own WordPress plugin that adds a column to the users table that will show the last time someone logged in. Okay, so right in front of me I have a default WordPress installation, it's just empty, um, you see no plugins installed, so we're going to create our own. To do this, we're going to head over to WP Content, Plugins. We create a new folder with the name of our plugin. And in that folder, we create a file with the same name, a PHP file. Put the opening PHP tag, and then we can add the metadata of our plugin and as a comment so i'm going to do plugin name last login the author is me my website is this one the plugin description And I'll add a version as well. Okay. So now if we go to our plugins, we should see an extra, our newly created plugin. We can activate that one. And right now you won't see anything yet uh, because we still have to add our code, of course. The first step is uh, saving the time whenever a user logs in. We're going to use the WP login hook to do this. So whenever a user logs in, this code, this function will be fired. From WordPress or from that hook, I'll get two parameters, first one is the login, then the user object, uh, which is the one we will actually use. So I'm going to store the time as a uh, user meta. First, we'll grab the ID from the user object, then we give it we give the metadata a key, I'll say last login, and then the value, which is just the current timestamp. Um, I'll give it a priority of 10 and pass in 2, which refers to the two parameters. Okay, next step is we're gonna create the column. So if we go over here, we need an extra column in this table that will show the timestamps. To create the column, we're gonna use a filter. Like that. Now if we refresh the page, um, oh, we need to return our columns. Right there. Now we have the extra column, but uh, we don't have any value set yet. So it's going to be empty. Um, we're going to do that now. Again, we're going to use a filter. Um, I 
think this is just the user ID, not the user object. So first step, um, this filter is gonna run on every column. So it's gonna run on username, name, email, role, posts. Um, but for us, only this one matters, the last login. So if the column name is not last login, you just return the default value. We don't change anything. Um, so when we're here, the following code will only happen on this column, the last login column, because every other column is already returned. First step is retrieving the user meta. So here we set the user metadata when uh, the user logged in and here we're gonna retrieve it. So update user meta and get user meta. Where you get the uh, user ID, the key, and then whether or not you uh, we wanna return a true value, a, a single value, sorry. Um, so this part right here is for um, a user that hasn't uh, logged in yet. So maybe you created an account for someone and he hasn't signed in yet. Then this will be shown uh, right next to the username. And in the most common case, you want to return the timestamp. We're gonna use the date value. And first we're gonna pass in the format. Um, I recommend using the format that's uh, set in the WordPress installation. So you can get those values or those uh, formats with get option. Time format, all right. And the second parameter of the date function is uh, the timestamp. You can see it here. So the first one is format, the second one is timestamp. Uh, which we retrieved right here. All right, I think that should do it. Um, I'm gonna sign out, I'm gonna log in. Right now I've logged in so this should have run. And if I go to see my users, hmm. oh. yes, right here. So now you can see the last time I logged in. 